सर्वो ब्रह्मा जो ब्रह्म जा संप्रदाय को जो शिष्य को सर्वो को पुरुषी सफलता लगा सकते हैं पूर्ण मेवा हम स्वयं ब्रह्म संज्ञा में इसमें नारायण बलिदान कृष्ण के तीन चक्र के राशन जो व्यासन शुक्र गोड़ पर महान तो गोविंद योगी ने मतासे शिष्य श्री शंकर आचार्य मतासे पद्मपादन � Shuttishmati prana nam alayam karuna alayam namami bhagavatpadam shankaram loka shankaram shankaram shankaracharyam keshavam badarayanam sutra bhashya krita uvande bhagavanta upunah punah ishvaro guru ratmeti murti bhedvi bhagine yuma vadhyapta deha yakshana murti namaham sahana vatu sahana unaktu sahaviryam karma vahi teja svina vahi tmastumagti shavahi i Om Shanti 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 Om Brahman Vidhat Purun Veda Vichya Prahno Tidasmi Dagum Hada Jai Shanti 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 Aamna Yanantayka Samusiddham Adi Madhyanta Varjitam Ananda Ghanam Apoornam Atma Jyoti Rupasmahe Okay, so <coughs> we'll finish the Prathama Pada of Prathama Adhyaya. Now, moving on to the Dvitiya Pada of the Prathama Adhyaya. Uh, we may pick up speed, you know, avoiding to look at each and every word which talks about Adhikarana Vishesha. So, we'll look at Vishesha, but we'll not need to look into each and every word in English because we know what Adhikarana is, we know Vishaya, Vishaya, Samushaya that is, so Vishaya, Samushaya, Pura Paksha, Uttara Paksha and Phala. So these five things, Panchanga will make an Adhikarana. Now I can just mention this is the Vishaya, this is the Samushaya and then we can look at the core, moving on. Let me close the window, it's a little noisy again. So then, Dvitiya Pada says, Itham Purosmin Pade Spashta Brahma Linga Vakyana Brahmani Samanvaya Sadhita. So Sadhita, what was established is Samanvaya. Samanvaya is the name of the Adhyaya also. Samanvaya Adhyaya. So in Brahma, there is Samanvaya Tatparya of, of, the, of all the Upanishad Vakya and by extension, even the Karmakanda Paramparaya. Not Vakya itself, but Paramparaya through Chitta Shuddhi, they all have Tatparaya in Brahma. Brahma is the real Vishaya that is revealed by the Shruti, which is unknown. And not only Ajnata, it is also Abadita. It will be one which will never be Badita, even after all the Koshas are Badita, all the Darshanas are Badita, the Tattva itself is the innermost Swarupa, the very Swarupa of the one who is doing the Badha, one who is analyzing, understanding. For him, this Shastra is Pramana and then once he knows that the Tatparya is Brahma, which is I, I am the subject matter of the entire Shastra. Then that leads to moksha. So, Itham Purosmin Pade Spashta Brahma Linga Vakyana Brahmani Samanvaya Sadhitaha. But we don't have to go to extension of Karmakanda, etc. Here itself in Upanishad. And in those also, the Vakyas which talk about Brahma clearly. This is what we saw earlier because Lingas were clear. Brahma Linga were clear. Prana cannot be Jagat Karana. Jagat Karana is Brahma, therefore Prana means Brahma. This is what is Pashta Brahma Linga. These are the Vakyas we have seen in the first Pada of the first Adhyaya. Now, Aduna, Aspashta Brahma Linga, uh, Aspashta Brahma Linga na Vakya na Samanvayam Sadaitu Dvitiya Tritiya Padao Arabhyate. So, Dvitiya Tritiya, the second and the third Padau, the second and the third Padas 
are begun with what intention sadayitum to establish samanvaya the same samanvaya which is sought to be clarified to everyone in this first chapter but here the vakyas which are picked the upanishad vakyas which are going to be considered are aspashta brahma linga vakyas meaning aspashtani brahma lingani brahmana lingani yeshu vakyeshu tani vakyani aspashta brahma lingani lingani vakyani tesham aspashta brahma linganam vakyanam samanvayam sadayitu to establish samanvay of those upanishad vakyas where the brahma linga that these dharmas belong to brahma is unclear is aspashta and this is the dif- difference between the first pada and the second and third pada second and third padas are going to consider these sentences what exactly is the third pada about we'll see when we reach there purosmin pade jagat karanatvena vyapitvadikam artha siddham indi earlier pada first pada what was said janmad yasya yataha janma sthiti bhangam yataha yasmat karanat bhavati tat karanam brahma so jagat karanam brahma lakshana was given taking yato vayamani bhutani jayante ityadi vakyas so jagat karanam is brahma brahma is the cause of this prapancha and what kind of cause we discuss there that it is material as well as efficient cause abhinna nimitta upadana karanam jagat karanam brahma now what does that mean this prapancha jagat is is vyapya it is completely outside us what we see is prapancha whatever we objectify through any of the sense organs is prapancha what we do not objectify the others objectify and we come to know about not by pratyaksha but by shabda by looking at wikipedia or interacting with people that we know we don't know hearing on news what scientists are working on outside this world not only in this uh, outside this uh, earth not only here but outside the earth what is this prapancha what is this universe expanding to we all get this information and we know through other pramanas in shastras also through puranas etc such lokas exist they are not pratyaksha to us whatever is not pratyaksha to scientists also we have trust there as to what they are analyzing has some basis and we know thereby that there is an unobjectifiable universe also unobjectifiable to us but then it is objectifiable to some instrument which provides data which is objectifiable and therefore to the subject atma all this prapancha starting from the sharira itself all this prapancha all pervasive prapancha is an object subject object division is there that object is so vast it is unimaginable that itself is unimaginable and then dashangulam above that is purusha this is what the shastra says now this jagat karanatva means what at least that much is the karana as much is the karya as much is the jagat so much is the karya at least even when you curdle the milk parinami vada you curdle the milk milk does not remain in its milk form it has completely changed to curd how much is the curd the curd is definitely not more than the milk you cannot have more curd than the milk of course if it uh, you know it is sar or in some places when you you know make a dough and make some dough and it is fermented like dosa dough or something it is fermented it it swells up but then the content is not more than the karana really it cannot be some additional water etc you know 
that is all possible but still the resultant karya cannot be more than the karana therefore the karana is as much as the karya at least it can shrink the karya can shrink meaning to make the ghata how much mrud do you need as big is the ghata so much at least you need mrud clay to make the pot so jagat karanatve you know, what is artha siddham what is implied by that when you say brahma jagat karana what is the implication the implied meaning is that brahma is vyapi sarva vyapi jagat vyapi so vyapitvam is brahma's dharma no? brahma is jagat vyapi sarva vyapi brahma vyapaka tattva it is all pervasive it is pervading the prapancha complete and then shastra says more tripad three padas more whatever you see jagat three padas more jagat is one pada but that is not to say that it is forex of the prapancha the universe itself is expanding to tending to infinity so infinity into four would be what it would be infinity purna purna meva avashishyate however vyapitvam is known <coughs> by saying jagat karana brahma jagat karanam brahma that lakshana has led to an implied meaning that brahma is vyapi vyapitva is the dharma vyapitvadikam other things are also known here now tad upajivya this purna brahma tad upajivya uttara pada dvayasya utthanat because the other two padas dvitiya and tritiya pada are based on this establishing whatever what i established this which was established sadita in the purosmin pada in the earlier pada puro pada that becomes upajivya and this second and third pada these second and third padas are upajivis so that becomes the aadhara the first chapter is the aadhara for the uh, first pada is the aadhara for the second and third pada therefore tad upajivya uttara pada dvayasya aadhara means what was established in the first pada that is the aadhara therefore first pada by extension is aadhara for the second and third padas uttara pada dvayasya second and the third padas have come up due to that reason uthana taking support of the first pada therefore hetu hetu bhava sangati asya purva padena so this second pada as well as the third pada has what hetu hetu mat bhava sangati the first pada is the hetu karana and the second and third pada is the hetu mat has the hetu meaning it's the effect so there is a karya karana sambandha between the first and the second pada hetu hetu mat bhava sangha also can be called as karya karana bhava but here hetu hetu mat bhava sambandha is there yatha purvam jeevadi linga badhaya brahma paratva muktam na tatha puro pakshi says that the way you analyze in the first pada yatha purvam jeevadi linga badhaya wherever i said this means jeeva jeeva is upasya jeeva jnana is there jeeva is upasya even samashti jeeva prana indra devata jeeva is upasya but we will not consider that kind of a devata as jeeva because jeeva is separate who is the upasaka here so that jeeva an individual say pratardana in that example pratardana and indra devata indra devata is also jeeva pratardana is also jeeva but by jeeva what is mentioned is manu, manushya jeeva this manushya jeeva who is upasaka what upasana should he do when indra devata did some upasana if at all he did when he was a jeeva that time he was this jeeva jeeva pada vachya but as indra devata he is not jeeva pada vachya because jeeva is separate as pratardana there in that section at least although indra is also jeeva being a devata devata is also jeeva there not a manushya jeeva but devata jeeva still we have to make the bheda 
Therefore, when prana was talked about separate, separately, that prana is also devata, but we differentiate that prana from indra devata, and prana is also we will consider it as some kind of an exalted jiva also. Therefore, prana is also all the manifestation of Ishvara. So is indra devata manifestation of Ishvara. As also this anena jivena atman anupravishya. Therefore, this individual seeker is also some manifestation of Ishvara. All have their own duties, all have their own bandhanas, but they are separate from each other. In the prapancha, they are separate from each other. Thereby, jiva is the upasaka jiva here who is claimed to be the upasya by puro pakshi. And variously, adipadena, devata also, or prana, akasha, ityadi. Those which the Purva Pakshi saw as Linga of Jiva, because Purva Pakshi should have a reason to conclude so. He can't just say that this is the reason, I mean, this is the uh, conclusion. He has to say how he reached that conclusion. He says that because of this, this reason, Vaktu Atma Upadeshat, Chet. So, Vaktu, Vakta is there, that Vakta cannot be Brahma, Brahma cannot be speaking there. Who is speaking? Indra Devata is speaking. Indra Devata is saying, Prano Asmi. Pradnyatma, there Prana Asmi, that statement is being made by the speaker. That speaker is Jiva or Indra Devata, an individual Devata Vishesha. Therefore, these Lingas which were given, that or those Lingas, those set of Lingas, that set of Lingas led to conclusion by the Purva Pakshi and Siddhanti had to show Brahma Linga. Thereby, Brahma Paratvam. To show Brahma Paratvam, the Jiva, the Linga, Bada should be done. Without refuting, without negating, the Jiva, the Lingas, and showing Brahma Lingas, Brahma Paratvam cannot be shown. So, Puro Pakshi says, Yatha, the way you did that in the earlier Pada, Yatha Purvam, Purosmin Pade, Jiva di linga badaya brahma paratvam uktam tvaya siddhanti na. By you the siddhanti, the way the jiva linga badha was done, you had negated the jiva linga and showed stronger brahma linga and therefore akasha prana ityadi words were and aham also there were reinterpreted as brahma by lakshana. By any which way. Because of linga, you had stronger linga, you showed that all those words don't stand for, they are not Swapara, they are Brahma Para. Their Tatpari Vishya is Brahma. Saman way was shown. Na tatha iha. I will show you the sentences in Chandogya to begin with, says the Puro Pakshi. There, Manomayadi Vakye. There, Manomayatvam has been talked about. This Manomaya is a kosha. We have discussed this, says the Puropakshi. In Annamaya, you went as far as Annamaya, and there you discuss as to Annamaya being Brahma or not being Brahma, or Annamaya Prakarana Gata Brahma Shabdai Swapara. So, you went thus far, you cannot reach there without. Considering Vijnanamaya as a kosha, who is Jiva, why in Paramasiddhanta you said Anandamaya is also Jiva? Because Anandamaya should get Ananda. Ananda is Prapya and the Prapta is Anandamaya. Therefore, Anandamaya was Jiva. What to talk about? Kaimatika Nyayana. Vidyanamaya, Mayomaya, Ityadi, they are definitely Jiva. How can they not be Jiva Lingas? So, na tatha hiya Manomayadi Vakke Brahma Linga Masti. This Manomayatam is not Brahma Linga. It is Spashta Jiva Linga. It is, so Siddhanti says, it is Aspashta Brahma Linga is alright. And Spashta Jiva Linga, what you are seeing, will show you how it is. We will make it spashta as to how there are Brahma Lingas. How Manomaya can apply to Brahma also because of 
with so many other things which are Brahmalinga. We'll show you. Don't worry about it, says the Siddhanti. And thereby, since such doubt is there, iti pratyudharana sangatya idam arabhate, arabhyate, idam arabhyate. Here karmani is used, some, some places will be said arabhate. It begins. Here it has begun. What has begun? This adhikarana. Sarvatra prasidhyadhikaranam. Sarvatra prasidhyadhikaranam is the adhikarana, the first adhikarana where the first sutra is Sarvatra Prasiddhopadeshat. Sarvatra Prasiddhopadeshat. Sarvatra. Sarvatra in Upanishad. Sarveshu Vedanteshu. Sarveshu Vedanta Vakyeshu. Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma Ityadishu. Sarvatra. That is the meaning of Sarvatra. Everywhere in statements such as what you are quoting also. What you are quoting, their Brahmalingas are there. Prasiddha Brahma is sitting right there in each and every quotation that you bring up, says the Siddhanti to the Puropakshi from the Upanishads. So that Prasiddhi, the Prasiddha Brahma, Prasiddha Brahmana Upadesha, Prasiddha Se Upadesha. So here there are only two Padas. Sarvatra Prasiddha Upadesha. Prasiddha Upadesha Samasa, Sashti Tat Purusha. Prasiddha Se Upadesha. Very well known. The teaching is of something which is very well known in the Shastra, in the Vedanta Shastra. What is that Brahma? Brahma is the subject matter of all Upanishad Vakyas. But if not all as per you, Brahma is Prasiddha, at least that much you have to agree. Now we will show you Sarvatra. Sarvatra will extend now. Brahma is Prasiddha, at least do you agree? If it is Prasiddha in the Shastra, not Prasiddha in the world, through the Shastra when you start understanding Jagat Karanam Brahma. Srishti Siti Laya Karanam Brahma. Then you get some knowledge about this Brahma and then you study more and more, you learn more and more, therefore Brahma is Prasiddha. Now that Prasiddha, Prasiddha Se Brahmana Upadeshat Sarvatra, everywhere, Everywhere it is the same thing. The same Prasiddha Brahma is talked about. How so? Puro Pakshi says Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma. There in Chandogya 3.14.1. So third chapter, 14th section, first mantra there. Sakratum Kurvita. Sakratum Kurvita. Kratu generally has the sense of karma. But here Kratum Kurvita there is a sense of uh, all that uh, Rudi Artha is not the meaning there. There, since it is in a Upasana Kanda, it means that per sa, it is talking, Kratu means Upasana. So, Asya Puro Pakshi Jeeva Se Upastihi. Puro Pakshi says, Jeeva is Upasya there. Siddhante Brahmana Iti Phala Bheda. In Siddhanta, Brahma is the Upasya. Chandogya Shruyate. In Chandogya, what is the Vakya there? Chandogya Shandilya Vidyayam Idam Amnayate. Amnayate Shruyate. This is what is seen or heard in Shandilya Vidya section. Vidya there has the meaning of Upasana. So in the Shandilya Vidya, Shandilya Upasana, in Chandogya, Idam Amnayate. What is heard? What is the Vakya there? Sakratum Kuruvita. Sakratum Kuruvita. Let me just read the mantra there. I'm <coughs> sorry. Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma Tajjalan iti Shanta Upasita Atakalu Kratumayaha Purushaha. So I'm just. Breaking the words, it's clear. Atha kalu kratu maya purusho yatha kratur asmil loke purusho bhavati tathe taf pretya bhavati sa kratum kuruvita. So that's the first mantra. Sa kratum kuruvita. Who is that? Shantaha. Shantaha, the upasaka, should have shama. 
But our interest is in what? Sakratam Kurvita. It begins with Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma. All that has been skipped by the Puro Pakshi. Puro Pakshi is landing on Sakratam Kurvita. In fact, this is, this is the only focus area there in the Vritti. But we, we are looking at the Bhashya. We didn't, now we have a little more scope to look into more. And somewhere else also was saying, this comes up in the Bhashya. Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma Tajjalan. Tajjalan, Tajjalan is, does not occur in the Vritti. It is not quoted in the Vritti at all. See, if Tajjalan is quoted in the Vritti and Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma is quoted by the Puro Pakshi, then there are Brahmalingas. So it is not Aspashta Brahmalinga. In fact, it will become Spashta Brahmalinga. How so? Because Tajjalan, what it means is Yato Vaimani Bhutani Jayante. It is the Lakshana Vakya, really. It, is, it stands for the Lakshana Vakya, single word. Tajjalana, Tajja, Talla, and Tanna. Tajjalan, there, it is Tajjalana. The word is Tajjalan, it should be seen as Tajjalana. Why and all that we will not see here, but Tajjalana, if you take as a single word, a samastapada, a compound, then what is Tajjalana? Tajja, Tajjascha, Tadeva, Talla, Tadeva, Tadana. So, this Three put together will become Tajjalana. Sounds very, you know, very odd as to, you know, what kind of a language is this. This is a short form. Samasa has taken the common Tat outside. And Ja, La and Ana. It has made a compound of that. And Tad connects with all these three as a Puropada. So three Samasas are put into Arsh put into a single word, a single samasa, taking the common outside by appropriate rules of Vyakarana. So now, tasmat jayate iti tajya, tasmat brahmana jayate. So that tajya, Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma, there Tajjalana, this, this Brahma Tajjalana. So this Brahma is Jagat Karana because Tasma Jayate and Talla Tasmin Liyate resolves in that Brahma. And Ana, Ana is Prana. You add Pra, you will get Prana. So Aniti, pra, Praniti. So, the entire prapancha sustains due to that. Cheshtate, aniti, praniti, cheshtate ti. Since this, this prapancha is born from that, tajj, all this is in neuter, tajjam. Tajjam, tallam. So, all these words mean jagat karana brahma. Srishti Karana Brahma, the Laya Karana Brahma, the second word Talla, and the Praniti shows that the Prapancha is sustained by Brahma, so Brahma is also what? Sthiti Karana. So we got the Lakshana Vakya. This is not quoted in the Vritti, this is not quoted by the Purva Pakshi. Purva Pakshi quotes Sakratam Kurvita. Sakratum Kurvita. Who is the one who is doing Upasana there? Sakratum Kurvita. Let him do this Upasana. And what has been said there? Tatheta. Tatha itaf pretya. Itaf pretya. From the Sharira, itaf pretya bhavati. Purushaha bhavati. Asmin loke purusha bhavati. Tatha itaf pretya bhavati. Having. No, very difficult to say having died from here. Pretya, having, it's a Lebanta Pada. Having given up this body, that is death. So,
So all this, what is it really talking about? If you look at it, what is it really talking about? Says the Puro Pakshi there. Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma is the mantra there. He is saying Sat Kratum Kurvita. That Kratum Kurvita there, here Upasaka has to Sat Kratum Kurvita. Kurvita. He must do. What should he do? There, this Kratum is Nishchaya. Bhagavan Bhashyakara says there, I said Upasana, but Nishchaya in the Upasana, what kind of an Upasana should he do? He should have Nishchaya here. So there, Bhagavan Bhashyakara quotes that Yatha Kratuhu, Yatha Kratuhu, he said, Atakalu Kratumaya Purusho Yatha Kratuhu Yatha Kratuhu Asmin Loke Purushaha Bhavati Yatha Kratuhu Yatha Kratu there, the word, there is another Samasa Yatha Kratu there, he said Yatha Dhyosayaha Yatha Nishchaya Yadring Nishchaya Bhagavan Bhashikar explains that further. He glosses over that as Yatha Kratu means Yatha Adhyavasaya Yatha Dhyavasayaha Adhyavasaya is Nishchaya. So he says Yadring Nishchaya. Asmin loke jivan iha purusho bhavati. So he has that nishchaya. Being a person having this kind of a nishchaya, this kind of a determination, he becomes a particular kind of person in this loka. Tatha itaf pretya asmad dehat pretya. Having gone away from ingatu dhatu is there. Prapurvaka in Gatau Dhatu. That means actually Pretya, we say death there because Preta, uh, preta Sharira, that means not this Sharira. So Rudhiartha, we say Pretya means having died. But what is really having gone away? That's what it means. Prakarshena, having gone away from this body, not in such a manner that he comes back. As in, in Nitya Pralaya, going to Shushupti, there also one goes away from this Stura Sharira goes into Sukshma Sharira and then uh, Sukshma Sharira identification is there, Stura Sharira identif identification isn't there, it is gone away. He has gone away from that identification. Not that kind of a going away where one would come back to this particular Sharira, may take up some other sh Sharira. So Punaravrutti is there but not into this Sharira. That is death. Therefore, Rudhiartha is death but Having died, that's what it will mean. But then, literal meaning, if you take what is it really, having gone away from this sharira, having died, but then who is that who goes away? This jiva who is a samsari. Therefore, Puro Pakshi says, Sakratum Kuruvita. Uh, the, the Bhashya there says, Yasmat Kratumayaha, Kratuprayaha. Adhyavasaya Atmakaha, Adhyavasaya Atmaka. He is Swaru, the person who is determined in this prapancha has some, you know, has some nishchayas, has some, you know, determining qualities. And he becomes that kind of a deterministic person, each and every one of us. However, it, whatever level of determination is, whatever is your Shraddha in, that is the kind of life you live. Similarly, each one of us, after giving up this body also, the way is nishchaya will take such kind of a gati. So, yadrisham kratum vakshamaha tam, he says there in the end, yata evam vyavastha shastra drishta ataha sa evam janan kratum kurvita, knowing, keeping such kind of nishchaya, he continues, Yadrasham Kratum Vakshama Tam Yata Evam Shastra Pramanya Dupapadyate Kratu Anurupam Phalam In keeping with your Nishya is the Phala Ataha Sa Kartavya Kratuhu The way you have Nishya So basically what the way you do karma So is the result So is the Gati So is the Samsarana So is the Movement upwards or downwards from here on, even after giving up the sharira. The way you do upasana, so is your gati. So, what is it really meant? Puro Pakshi says, I agree all this. I agree with all your analysis. That is the jiva, not Brahma. Therefore, what Sakratum Kuruvita is jiva linga. 
Siddhanti says, what about Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma Tajjalan? That Tajjalan iti Shanta Upasita, that Shanta Upasita, Sakratum Kurvita, Yatha Kratuhu, Kratumayaha, Asmin Loke Purusha Bhavati, Itaf Pretya, all these you have picked up and Guru Pakshi says, yes, I have picked up because so many are there, so many Lingas are there, all those are what? Bhuma, the way you said Bhuma. Sammandad, all that you said, I remember. So, bahu, bahu, Bahulyam is there. Bahulyam of Lingas is there. These are all Jeeva Lingas. Therefore, Mano Mayadi Vakke Brahma Lingam Nasti. There is a further, second mantra says, Mano Maya Prana Sharira Bharupaha Satya Sankalpa Akashatma Sarva Karma Sarva Kama Sarva Gandha Sarva Rasaha Sarvam Idam Abhyato uh, abhyato vakya nadaraha avaki anadaraha avaki anadaraha is the ending in this sentence but there manomaya is the beginning that manomaya the vakya in the 3 14 2 mantra of chandogya manomayatvam is jivalinga adi padena all these sakratum kuruvita all that which is mentioned that is all prana sharira all this is what Prana kosha, one who has prana kosha, that prana shariraha will mean what? As per the Puro Pakshi, it is pranamaya kosha. So, pranamaya kosha, manomaya kosha, these are all koshas of jiva, identified with those, the jiva remains a samsari jiva, that is not Brahma at all. So, where is the possibility of saying that there is samanvaya into Brahma? Of all vakyas, not few here and there. You have said samanvaya of all vakyas, prove it. So Siddhanti says, Manovaya prana sharira bharupa ityadi, meaning the first mantra here, Sakratum Kurvita, and then Manovaya prana sharira bharupa, second mantra in the 14th section of third chapter of Chandogya ityadi, Shruyate, Amnayate. Tatrakim, this is the Vishaya Vakya, Tatrakim, Manomayatwadi, Gunaka Shari Raha, Upasyatvena, Upadishyate, Kimva, Paramatma, Brahma, it is Samshaye, Shari Rati, Puro Paksha. So we understand this Samshaya is there, Vishaya Vakya is mentioned, what is the Samshaya, the doubt which has come about because Puro Pakshi says one thing, Siddhanti says another, what does the Puro Pakshi say? He says, Manomayatwadi, Gunakaha, Gunaka, this is Bahuri. Bahuri, Samasanta, Kapratya, you hear. Most of the times you will have Bahuri. Manomayatva Adi. Mayomayatvam Adi Yasya. Or uh, Mayomayatva Adi. Mayomayatvam Adi Yesham Gunanam. Tani Gunani. Gunaha guna would be pulling, I think. So, those good. Gunas, Gunaha, Te Gunaha, Mayomat Mayotwadi, Gunaha. And then those Gunas are in one whom, so in fact, in Bahuri, you don't need to make different samasas. You can, you know, give it in a single sentence itself. So Mayomayatvam Adihi, that is Bahuri, but we can say Mayomayatwadi Adayaha, Mayomayatwadayaha, Gunaha, Yasya. Shari Rasya, that Shari Ra is Shariri, one who has that Shari Ra, these kind of Shari Ra, Mayomatva Shari Ra and Adi Padina, all these which are mentioned, Prana Shari Ra, Ityadi. So these Gunas are there, those Gunas are there in whom? Asya or Asmin, we can take, so Mayomayatvaadi, Mayomayatvaadayaha, Gunaha, Yasya Shari Rasya, Saha Mayomatwadi Gunakaha Mano sorry I'm saying Mayo Mano Maya Mano Mayatwadi Gunakaha. So Mano Mayatwadi Gunaka Shari Raha, one who has these kind of Shari Ras, Mayomayatwa Ityadi, Mano Mayatwa Ityadi. Who is that? Is it that Shariri Shari Raha? Who is Jiva, individual Jiva? Upasyatvena Upadishyate. Kimva Paramatma or is it Paramatma? So is it Jiva or Paramatma? That's all. Iti Sharira iti Purva Paksha. Sharira is one who has the Sharira. One who has the Sharira is an individual. Therefore, Jiva ityartha. 
ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಸ್ತು ಜೀವೈದ್ ಉಪಾಸ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಸ್ತು ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೇವ ಉಪಾಸ್ಯತ್ವೇನು ಉಪದಿಶ್ಯತೆ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಇದು ಉಪಾಸ್ಯದೇ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇದ್ ಉಪಾಸ್ಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಏವ ಅಗೇನ್ ಏವ ಕಾರ ಏವ ಕಾರಣ ಜೀವ ಅಪಿ ಇತಿ ನ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಹಾವ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಭೇದ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಸಾಯ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ತ್ರೈವಿದ್ಯ ತ್ರೈವಿದ್ ತ್ರೈವಿದ್ಯ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ದೋಷ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಜೀವ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂದ್ರದೇವತ ಆರ್ ಉಪಾಸ್ಯ ಯು ಮೇ ಸೇ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವೋಂಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಇಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾತರ್ ಪ್ರಾತರ್ಧನ ಅಧಿಕರಣ ವಿ ಸಾ ನಾವು ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಏವ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಏವ ನಾಟ್ ಜೀವ ಆರ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಏವ ಉಪಾಸ್ಯತ್ವೇನ ಉಪದಿಶ್ಯತಿ ಇದು ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಕುತ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ರೀಸನ್ ಐ ಗೇವ್ ಮೈ ರೀಸನ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧೋಪದೇಶಾತ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ರಿಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಆಸ್ ರೀಸನಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧಸ್ಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಉಪದೇಶಾತ್ ಸರ್ವೇಶು ವೇದಾಂತೇಶು ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ವಾಕ್ಯಾತ್ ಯತ್ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ಜಗತ್ ಕಾರಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಯವ ಅತ್ರ ಸರ್ವ ಖಲು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಉಪದೇಶಾರಿತ್ಯರ್ಥಾದ ಸರ್ವ ಖಲು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ವೆರಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕೋಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಹುಲ್ಯಂ ಆಫ್ ಜೀವಲಿಂಗಾಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಪರ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವೈ ವಿಲ್ ಹಿ ಕೋಟ್ ಸರ್ವ ಖಲುವಿದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಡಸ್ ದಿ ಡಸ್ ದಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಕೋಟ್ ಸ ಕ್ರತುಂ ಕುರುವೀತ ವೆನ್ ಹೀ ಸೇಸ್ ಸರ್ವ ಖಲುವಿದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಜ್ಜಲಾನ ನೋ ಸೊ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕೊಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎನಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಅನ್ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ಲಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಈಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕೋಟಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ ಎನಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕೋಟ್ ದಿ ಪಾರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ವಿಲ್ ಕೋಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ we can see we can give that discount to the puro pakshi and say that it is the tatpare nishya but his tatpare nishya is by bahulyam only bahulyam cannot be the only linga otherwise karma kanda is so huge upasana kanda if you put it together that that need not be there but if you count that upanishad is negligible but that is the tatpare vishaya one may say a lot of things but then finally what is the moral of the story even a child is taught that as children we all learnt in school unfortunately the moral itself was given due to being an exam oriented study syllabus is you know all tu- the teaching style is all focused towards marks nobody is interested in how the child should analyze and reach the moral unfortunately that is why we have difficulty now with um, shadlinga analysis but if you look at it shadling analysis is so perfect that however you logically analyze analyze without any shadling knowledge even then you will hit at the most six most likely the most brilliant person also may not hit six may not i'm saying maybe but may not most likely he will not he or she won't hit all the six lingas but any linga that the person comes up on it on one's own to identify the moral of any story that will be one of the six lingas try it out if you feel like you try it out and you'll see that you will come across the similar lingas because this came up in a discussion elsewhere how can you know advaitin say only uh, this is the tatparya do you think that others are not doing tatparya linga analysis i said they are doing it but how they are doing it you should look at it whether they are using all the six lingas or they are being partial you should look at it but after advaita study you should look at it if you are yourself not sure you start studying dvaita shastra or vishishta dvaita shastra or dvaita dvaita shastra shuddha advaita shastra all these are there so if you study all those and then further this is all vedanta claim claim to be vedanta then you go to other uh, you know tarka lot yoga sankhya it is easy to get lost 
But after Nishche and your Advaita Tattva, you are free to study others to see how your Shastra has refuted and stands out so tall. Anyway, that's an aside. Uh, so, Sarvatra Prasiddha Upadesha, that Shadlinga analysis will lead you to Tatparya Vishya, which is Brahma. So, what I was saying, just uh, again as an aside, that the moral of the story is given in the story itself in school books. It should be given for few and then the teacher should encourage the children to study the story, understand the story and bring out their own moral. When they do that, then the buddhi develops in such a manner. I am not saying it is not done anywhere, but most of the time, from what I remember in school, the moral of the story was a question in the exam and then all this was there in the textbook itself. Initially, to train the mind, you give as to how you land on that moral. But then, let the children do their own analysis. So that was the aside there to make that point as to you know how the buddhi should turn out to be superior. One should be able to trust one's buddhi for analysis because jnana cannot take place anywhere other than buddhi. Buddhi is a karana there. So Sarveshu Vedantishu yat prasiddham jagat karanam brahma that Janmadhyasi Yataha Sutra showed this Yatovaimani Bhutani Jayante. Now Tajjalan is being brought in and said Sarvam, khal, Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma. Here also there is an important thing to note. We look at Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma so many times. Samanadi Karana. But what kind of Samanadi Karana? Tajjalan word is not quoted at many places. Only Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma. Brahma is there, you don't need Tajjalan again. Tajjalan can be looked at if you don't know what is Brahma. Brahma is already known as Jagat Karana. Therefore, Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma is not discussed. In that discussion, wherever Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma is quoted, there Tajjalan is not quoted. Why? Because Brahma is already known as, uh, as Jagat Karana. By the time you reach that statement, Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma, you already know Brahma is Jagat Karana Brahma. Paramatma, then Tajjalan, which is a Lakshana, is not needed. You don't need an adjective. You don't need to say, you know, that Brahma which is seen in Yatovaimani, Bhutani, Jayanti. Similarly, Tajjalan is not needed. In the Bhashya quotations where Bhagavan Bhashyakara quotes Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma. And then he says, that's it. This is it. But what is it really? Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma is Namurupatmaka, Khalu is indeed. But Sarvam Brahma is what is left with. What is left with in the sentence? In your analysis, that is what is left. So, Sarvam Kim, Sarvam Jagat. That Sarvam Jagat, Namarupatmakam Jagat, cannot be Brahma as itself. So, what is it? Namarupa is Mithya. Then, Satchidananda, that which remains, Astibhati Priya, that is Satya. So, it is Bada Samanadikarani. Samanadikaranam between Jiva and Brahma, when Jiva is taken to be a Pratyagatma, then Brahma, which is Satchidananda Brahma, there is Aikya, Aikya Samanadikarani. Samanadikaran, there are multiple types. There are four types of Samanadikaran. So, we'll see as we go, we'll see more. But then, since Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma has come up, Sarvam Brahma means Sarvam Nasti, Brahma Vasti. That is Badhayam Samanadikaran. Or Badhena Samanadikaran. Badhayava, Strilinga or Pullinga, how you take. Tritiyam Saptami. Through Badha or after Badha. Badhayam Satyam Sati Saptami. Sarvasya Badhayam Satyam Brahma. Eva Avashishyate. Nama Rupatmakasya Prapanchasya Badhayam Satyam Brahma Eva Satchidananda Brahma Eva Avashishyate. And that Brahma is what? Ahamasmi. But this is not in this section because this section is Upasya Brahma. The Brahma is being talked about as Upasya, Paramatma. Further, once you go and reach the 6th chapter, there on 6th, 7th, 8th chapters of Chandogya, they will say that all that teaching will fall into place. In fact, the Upodhata to the 6th chapter by Bhagavan Bhashyakara says that the Upasaka, who was talked about as, praised as that he will become Hiranyagarbha, he will get Hiranyagarbha kind of an association with all Jeevas and what was said there, in Upasana also what was said, Bhagavan Bhashyagara says, I am paraphrasing, he says that if anyone eats, then the, or no, not anyone eats, this Upasaka who has reached that level of 
Hiranyagarbha kind of association, when that Upasaka eats, Vaishwanara eats, he has, uh, Hiranyagarbha or you can think Vaishwanara also, Virat. That Vaishwanara when Upasaka eats, who is doing that kind of Upasana when he eats, then the entire Prapancha is nourished. All the Bhutas, all the living beings are nourished. Now this Arthavada, how can you know somebody, some great person eat and then I am still hungry, right? So this Puropaksha can be there. And what Bhagavan Bhashyakara does there is this will be possible only if there is Aikya. This is how he begins the sixth chapter and he uh, you know takes the Upasana, five chapters of Upasana into Jnana Kanda. Very beautiful introduction. So with all this background, Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma being in Upasana, there is Tajjalan and all is not analyzed so much there. It is analyzed, but then it has not Jnana Kanda there. It has shown as this is how you have, with these attributes you do Upasana. Therefore, Puro Pakshi has scope to misinterpret all the more. And then he says, Sakratum Kuruvita, this Nishchaya you have to do. And then with this, this Kratum, he is not looking at this Nishchaya. He says, Kratum Kuruvita, that the way this Nishchaya, Samsarana is there anyway. However you take it, Samsarana is there. That Samsari is Jiva. So all the Tajjalana, Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma is irrelevant to this. He says all that understanding that Brahma is all that. You do Upasana with this Mayomayatwadi Ityadi, Prana Sharira Ityadi, all these which are talked about, they are all Jiva Linga. But Siddhanti says, Sarvam Khaluvida Brahma is sitting right there and then further if you let Tajjalan has been talked about, Vritti does not say that because this is going to be useful further, another sutra will pick this up. So in this sutra all that has been said is that Brahma is Prasiddha there. Brahma Tajjalan iti Shanta Upasita. So, which is the karma and who is the karta? Upasana karma, upasaka, upasa, upasana karta. Who is the upasana karta? This you say, okay, kartumaya purusha, all this what you are saying, let that be. Let that be samsari. But the upasya is not him. Upasya is that this upasaka is Shanta, all right. But Shanta Upasita, Kim Upasita, Tajjalan iti Brahma Upasita. Sarvam khalvi idam, idam brahma iti upasita. So that brahma is upasya natu shanta upasaka. This will be taken up next. But then this is the perspective of the Siddhanti. So he makes an opening statement first. Sarvatra prasiddha upadeshat. Prasiddha brahmana eva upadeshat. Upasyatvena upadeshat atra. And then he takes further. We look at. Now the, now the other sutras will be easy with this broad context. Because they have you know one or two line vrittis. Itascha Brahma eva atra upadishyate tyaha. Due to this reason also Brahma is the upasya, not jiva, says the Siddhanti. Why? Vivakshita guna upapattyescha. Vivakshita guna upapattyescha. And because of this reason, why? Vivakshita guna, so Vivakshita guna upapattyehe is the hetu, one word, and cha, another word. So Vivakshita guna upapattyehe, because of upapatti of Vivakshita Gunas. Vivakshita Gunas, the intended Gunas, which are the Gunas intended to be conveyed in the mantras there in that section, 14th section of the third chapter of Chandogya. Especially in the second mantra that you are quoting. What are you quoting? Mayo Mayatwadi. But what is the fact? You go further, you see Bharupaha, Satya Sankalapaha. This Bharupatva, Mayo Mayatvam, you are seeing as Jiva, Jiva Linga. What about Bharupaha? Bha is Prakasha. Prakasha Surupa. Jiva is not Prakasha Surupa. Jiva Samsari Jiva is not Prakasha Surupa. Asamsari Pratyagatma is Prakasha Surupa, who is Brahma. So Satya Sankalpa has been said. How many Jivas do you know who are Satya Sankalpa? One who has done a lot of yoga following has uh, you know, followed the uh, Sanyama. Sanyama is a triad of uh, Dharana Dhyana Samadhi. On specific Vishayas, one who has got Dharana Dhyana Samadhi triad called as Sanyama technically in Yoga Shastra and thereby attained Vibhuti, Vibhuti Padagata Siddhis. How does that come there? You, you know, Sutrakara, Yoga Sutrakara, Patanjali Maharshi says, one who keeps on saying Satya all the time. What he says will become Satya. That is the Siddhi. So if you do not lie, if you live a Dharmika life, the Siddhi is automatic. 
you don't have to know yoga sutras for that many people have this anubhava those who don't lie they have anubhava that if you find very difficult you know to lie even in situations where uh, it is okay the people will say it is okay i mean it is not such a big deal get by by lying you find it so difficult to do because you are a satyavadi you you don't lie then what happens over a period of time even if you by mistake say something that will come true oh ye yeah, i said it it is a siddhi it's not to be used but you know you have that uh, anubhava many of us have that anubhava if we have not lied then we see that oh, what i said came true as soon as you start claiming it that siddhi goes away so this satya sankalpatvam is not easy and it is not nitya anyway so विवक्षिताः भारूपः सत्यसंकल्पः इत्यादिना उपासनायां उपादेयत्वेन उपदिष्टः उपदिष्टा ये गुणाः उपदिष्टाः इन प्लूरल उपदिष्टाः ये गुणाः विच आर दि गुणाः विच आर टॉक्ड अबाउट देयर विवक्षिताः दे आर टेनेबल विवक्षित गुणोपपत्तेश मींस बिकॉज़ ऑफ टेनेबिलिटी ऑफ दि गुणाः विच आर इंटेंडेड ड्यू टू दैट रीजन आल्सो एंड ड्यू टू दैट रीजन आल्सो ब्रह्म एव अत्र उप उपदिश्यते उपास्यत्वेन ब्रह्म इज उपास्य व्हाई बिकॉज दीस गुणा विच आर भारूप सत्यसंकल्प ऑल दीस इत्यादिना उपासनायां उपाद उपास इन द उपासना उपासनायां उपादेयत्वेन उपदिष्ट दीस गुणा विच आर टॉक्ड अबाउट दीस आर द गुणास विच यू हैव टू लुक एट योर उपास्य दैट ब्रह्म Brahma should be seen as Satya Sankalpa. You do that that kind of upasana. Satya Sankalpa means what? Whatever he says will come true. Satya ha Sankalpa yasya. Each and every nityatvena. It is nityatvena. Bharupa is also nityatvena. See all these gunas are when gunas are there, the guni will always be with the guna. If you say Gandhavati Prithvi, wherever you have Gandha, there is Prithvi. Even if you don't see Prithvi, Prithvi Tattva is there. Prithvi Mahabhuta is there. So when you say Prithvi. पृथ्वी कैन नेवर बी विदाउट गंधा इवन इफ इट इज नॉट स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड यू आर अनेबल टू स्मेल इट ऑल्सो गंधा इज देर सिमिलरली हियर भारूप वेन यू टॉक्ड अबाउट सत्य संकल्प एज गुणा ऑफ ब्रह्म ऑफ हुए ऑफ द उपास्य देन दैट उपास्य विल ऑलवेज बी सत्य संकल्प विल ऑलवेज बी भारूप सो वंस इन अ वाइल सम योगी इज देर दैट जीवा इज सत्य संकल्प वी डोंट केयर वाई बिकॉज इट इज नॉट फिटिंग द कॉन्टेक्स्ट somebody has done lot of uh, japa gayatri japa he has done uh, uh, puraschcharana and therefore he has got this uh, bhav on his uh, he is what tejas brahma tejas is there you see the person who is doing lot of japa he, his uh, face shines so brahma tejas is there all this is bharupatvam is not nitya Across jivas, it is not nitya, and in the same jiva also, it is not not nitya. It is prapya. It is prapya and prapta. It is to be attainable, and it has been attained. So it will not stay. It will go away in time. Agantuka, agantuka dharmas are not being discussed here. Nitya dharma, upasana yam, upadeetve na, upadishta ha, ye guna ha, satya sankalpatva, satya sankalpatva daya ha, satya sankalpatvam, bharu patvam. Then in the mantra, if you look at it, the mantra says. सेकेंड मंत्र से इज नॉट मनोमय ओनली एंड प्राण शरीर बट भारूप सत्य संकल्प आकाश आत्मा सर्वकर्म सर्व काम सर्वगंध सर्वरस सर्व इदम अभ्यात अवाकी अनादर विदउट एनी इंद्रिया अवाकी देर यू कैन टेक वाक देर भगवान भाष्यकार से इट इज वागिंद्रिय वाक इज वाक इज देर वाक अस्त अस्त वाकी सो वॉट इज वाकी वाक वाक इज वाग वाग वाक वन ही गिव्स मल्टीपल इंटरप्रिटेशन वाग वाक वागेन्द्रिय सो वागेन्द्रिय नास्तियस्य अवाकी एंड वागेन्द्रिय इज उपलक्षण फॉर ऑल इंद्रिय सो इंद्रियातीत वे जीवा इज नॉट दिस संसारी जीवा इज नॉट इंद्रियातीत ही इज नॉट सर्वकर्म ही इज बेअरली अल्पकर्म इज बेअरली एबल टू डू व्हाट एवर इज बॉस इज साइंस व्हाट सर्वकर्म सर्वकाम इफ ही वाज देयर ही वुडंट बी अ संसारी एट ऑल he has few desires here and there and uh, another day uh, another set of desires once he meets those something else something else keeps on com- coming up he does not want everything at the same time honestly if you analyze as bhagwan uh, uh, swami krishnanand ji says from rishikesh he had made a statement once very interesting you know he said that 
दीव जीवा नॉट स्वामी कृष्ण ए स्वामी कृष्णानंद जी नॉट स्वामी कृष्णानंद जी सॉरी समवन फ्रॉम चिन्मय आश्रम एन अमेजिंग टीचर अनफॉर्चुनेटली ही अटेंड महासमाधि बट आई थिंक सुबोधानंद जी स्वामी सुबोधानंद जी हैड मेड अ स्टेटमेंट वाइल टीचिंग गीता ही हैड मेंशन समटाइम हैड हर्ड दिस he had said that he used to teach in hindi but a great scholar i mean he studied with uh, his guru and then akhandan ji akhandan saraswati ji so all these uh, teachings are in this sampradaya where uh, all mahanubhavas and he said that this jiva in the sharira the brahma has been put as jiva in the sharira due to his, his karma but you look at what is the swarupa of brahma that purna tatva limitless thing has been put in a very small minute next to nothing kind of a sharira be it manushya sharira not an ant sharira or an elephant so even look at a simple human being even the elephant is so how huge is it it is a jeeva small sharira jeeva sharira you put that kind of a purna tatva what is the suffocation there you think about it it would be the that brahma tatva is so suffocated that's why everyone is trying to get that ananda purnatvam struggling not knowing that that is what we are seeking and why we are seeking because it is our swarupa we are trying to go back to our swarupa somehow finding ourselves as losing that swarupa we so we want more and more so if one could desire and i think swami Shank, uh, krishnanand ji also because i remember uh, him in that if the jiva could desire he would desire everything uh, he, he had mentioned this swami krishnananda is also right because i mixed up these two contexts but then they connect i could connect then as to the jiva who is purna tattva uh, the brahma who is jiva tattva, uh, has become jiva as though purna has been limited the limitless is being forced to be limited what would be his real desire these desires which come up every now and then in every stage of life they change and they increase or they become different and they tend to infinity if you look at it across janmas also so we are trying to go back to what is our real swarupa which is purnatvam and if you look at from the jagat srishtikara ishwara he is sarvakamah because without being sarvakamah he cannot create sarva sarva ichha is there not for himself need not see ichha need not be for yourself only so ishwara who is parama vairagi still is sarva kama and sarva karma also he has created everything all this is created by by bhagwan and all the jivas who are doing karma he is actually a hetu karta for it tad hetu cha tad dar sutra de स्वतंत्र करता एंड देन सद हेतु इज अ हेतु करता सो दट देर गो इज सर्व कर्मा ऑल्सो विच द सर्व कर्मा ऑल दीज आर वर्ड्स फ्रॉम दी सेकेंड मंत्र विच आर नॉट कोटेड हियर बट भारूप सत्य संकल्प एंड सत्य संकल्पाद देर यू हैव ऑल दिस सर्व काम इत्यादि जस्ट गिव मी वन मोमेंट वॉन्टेड टू क्रॉस चेक समथिंग it's crash okay it's okay it's come up again uh, for some reason you know uh, bothers me that the uh, the thought came in and then i uh, lost the word there so medha is not that good uh, why not good it's bad so uh, swatantra karta is the vyakarana sutra for the jiva and then uh, you know you can see that although it is not mentioned there in any vritti or anything but then you can see the meaning can be applied tat prayojaka hetuscha so tat prayojako hetuscha tat prayojaka that swatantra karta karta kartas prayojaka vanu prods the karta to work to do whatever he need, does or in you know kena upanishad in the indriyas also indriyas are working who makes these indriyas work in katopanishad who makes the surya or the yama mrityu also mrityu is yama raja mrityur dhavati panchamaha so who makes all these run in taitri upanishad also so tat prayojako hetuscha the 
prayojaka one who prods all these tatte sarvanam you can take anything there and hetu also he is hetu karta that ishvara is sarva kama sarva karma cannot be jiva this is the argument given by the siddhanti so vivakshita bharupa satya sankalpa ityadina upasanayam upadayatvena na upadishtaha ye gunaha ಸತ್ಯ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪತ್ವಾದ ತೇಷಾಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ಏವ ಉಪಪತ್ತೆ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ದೀಸ್ ಧರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಜೀವ ಜೀವ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸತ್ಯ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವೇನ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಭಾರೂಪ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವೇನ ಇಫ್ ಇಫ್ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಟಾಕ್ ಗಿವ್ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನೋ ನಾಟ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ವನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ವೈಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಒನ್ ಸಮ್ವೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಂಟೆಂಡೆಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವೇನ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ಸರ್ವಕರ್ಮ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ಸರ್ವಕಾಮ ಸೊ ಜೀವ ಅಸಾಧಾರಣ ಅಪಿ ಮನೋಮಯತ್ವಾದೇ ಸತ್ಯ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪತ್ವಾದ್ಯನುರೋಧೇನ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮಕೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ಉಪಪತ್ತೆ ದೆನ್ ಪೂರ್ವಪಕ್ಷ ಮಯೋಮತ್ ಮಯೋಮತ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಡ್ರಾಪಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಮಯೋ ಮನೋ ಸಾರಿ ವೈ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವೈ ಮಯೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟಕ್ ಸಾರಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮನೋಮಯತ್ವಾದಿ ದಿಸ್ ಯ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು Uh, yeah, mano maya, that maya sits with, uh, because mayat mayat has been said so many times that maya comes in with mano also. So mano mayatvam, what about that, asked the Puro Pakshi, because the second mantra starts with mayo ma- mano mayatvam and then it goes till, uh, it says mano maya prana sharira and Siddhanti started quoting from the third word, bharupa satya sankalpa. So before these two words, you are going on that chain satya sankalpatvadayah what about the first two words which are manomayah prana sharirai prana sharirah so those two words will show the jiva linga says the puru pakshi siddhanti se jiva sadharanasya api jiva sadharanasya api not asadharana jiva sadharanasya api jiva sadharana manomayatvam is there yes we agree but Manomayatvam is also possible in Ishwara. Because we say that Hiranyagarbha, by taking the role of Hiranyagarbha, Samashti, Manomayatvam is possible, Samashti Manomayatvam. So Manomayatvade, hey, although they are Jeeva Sadharana, they are Jeeva, not Asadharana, Jeeva Sadharana, all Jeevas have them. But Satya Sankalpatvad Yanurodena, following this Satya Sankalpa, Anurodena, ಅನುಸಾರೇಣ ಅನುಸಾರೇಣ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸತ್ಯ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪತ್ವಾದಿ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಮನೋಮಯತ್ವ ಮನೋಮಯತ್ವ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮಕೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ಉಪಪತ್ತೆ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮಕ ದಟ್ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ವೇಸಿವ್ ದಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ರಿಯಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ identification with each and in one individual sharira each and every individual sharira then manomayatvam is a jeeva linga but when sarvatmaka when sarva manomaya kosha association is there we call him as hiranyagarbha who is that the same ishwara brahma is called as hiranyagarbha then so sarvatmati sarvatmake brahmani upapatte it is tenable therefore there is no naisha dosha there is no issue with manomayatvam prana sharitvam we don't have any dosha there we don't have any issue there we agree that those are there and they are possible in not only in jiva although they are jiva sadharana they are not jiva sadharana they are not you cannot say that they cannot be in any one other than jiva they can be in brahma they can be by satya sankalpatvadi and by association with all sarvatmaka being sarvatmaka ataha tadgunakam brahme upasam iti siddham therefore this upas is brahma and the connected also i'll look at nano viparitam kim nasyati chet na itya puro pakshi says okay this jeeva sadharana linga is manomayatvam why not flip it and say only jeeva then it is possible in brahma also right so you are saying brahma is the meaning why not take it the other way and say jeeva sadharana and then brahmani also upapatte ಐಲ್ ಸೇ ದೆನ್ ಜೀವೆ ಜೀವಿ ಅಪಿ ಉಪಪತ್ತೆ ದೆನ್ ವೈ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಜೀವ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ವೈ ಟೇಕ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ದ ಸೂತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ವೃತ್ತಿ ದೇರ್ ಅನುಪತ್ತೆಸ್ತು ನ ಶಾರೀರ ಅನುಪತ್ತೆಸ್ತು ನ ಶಾರೀರ ನ ಶಾರೀರ ಜೀವ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ವಿಪರೀತ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕ
you cannot say other way around why satya sankalpatvadina jeeve samanjasyena anukapatte samanjasyena means nityatvena nityatvena this satya sankalpatvadi which i already explained so this is easy i said that it is not nitya some yogi can have sometime it is prapta it was not there earlier it is not nitya even in a single jeeva yogi siddhi yogi the siddha yogi it is not nitya due to siddhi he has got it it may or may not stay if you say it will stay but still he didn't have it earlier and it is not possible in non siddha yogis and non yogi is definitely not possible therefore satya sankalpatvadi nam jeeve samanjasena samanjasena anukapatte since it is just not possible therefore logically it is not possible न शारी जीव तद्धर्म तद्धर्मेण उपास्य सो दि तद्धर्म सत्य सो सत्य सकलवादी तेर सो दि सत्य सकलवादी धर्म सत्य सकलकर्मकाम all these gunas are not possible in jiva therefore there is no point in forcing these into jiva and making jiva up- the upasya therefore jiva ha sharira jiva na upasya kintu brahme vaityarta then we we'll look at more these are all very small vrittis i could have covered it but then uh, let's look at uh, these in the next part ha i've already overshot uh, by quite a lot of time having started late for the so आदिमध्यांतवर्जित आनंद घन आपूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे नमस्ते